five colorful boxes, right? I want you all to see and so called decide which best suits you. Lah. Okay, uh, yeah, maybe some of you might be leaning towards the purple color one, just like me. Yeah, the first one, yeah, like you all know how to look smart using Google, right? For example, teacher asked, so what's the answer for this question? Eh? Google, Google, Google. Ah, okay, the answer is one. Yeah, correct. Yeah, so if you see a color and it corresponds with how you feel, this basically means in the atas term, lah, the more official one. Okay, so we have digital native. So the Gen Z, which is not mine, lah, the generation of the kids, are still young, right? Because they are here. So digital native, you all are born in the age where you know you you are born in both virtual and the physical world, and technology is evolving, but you are already a kid. kid. Okay, so this is where you know knowledge comes at your fingertips. You can just look it up on Google. You don't even need to go to the library, right? The library is already in your hands. My library card also so long never used to be. Okay, so you are also uh, passionate. You know, like how Parasite was sharing about having compassion for the things that you do. So this generation Z, they are actually uh, getting that balance of career and also passion. You might hear, you know, in a more traditional sense that oh, you know, your hobby cannot pay your bills. But now with a lot of social based causes, so they are actually, you know, uh, occupations or even sectors that are, you know, looking into making your passion work for you, right? And of course. This is also the fun part where a lot of us they, we enjoy more social interaction, whether it's virtually or in person, to get results. It's no longer where you know you're silo, you just do things yourself. You know, here you enjoy a lot of interaction. So this is the Gen Z workforce. Okay. All right. So Internet of Things, I think you all know. From my house, I can switch off my you know my appliance, right? I can look at what people are doing at home. I can even, you know, uh, do e-payments. Like last time, go belanja makan, right? That's only, ah, Lisa, I pay you. Ah. Now, no more. They say, eh, my pay now is my handphone number. Uh, so, no longer like next week, I am, forget lah. Right? So, so, pay now, you know, you have robots at home cleaning your houses for you. So, technology is already ingrained in our way of life and also in the way we work. So, when we are talking about workforce, this is about getting the efficiency and also increasing the quality. Right? And of course, this is not going to end. We are moving towards an era where all these things will come uh, progressively. Right? So these are some of the growth sectors that we have currently. Uh, not the definitive one, but yeah, if you look at the list down here, later, uh, Sis Insha will be sharing more on the financial services, the traditional financial services, or also what we call fintech, blockchain and all that. Right? So it doesn't mean you say right now you plan for this high career. No, this one is just an example. Okay? So let's talk about facilities uh, management, where you know you look at this room right now, look at the you know the things around the aircon, you know the, the maintenance of the lights, lighting, and everything. Right. So this thing that works, of course, the, there is this tradi traditional notion where oh this must be labor in uh, intensive, right? So how have these industries, especially manufacturing, right, the closing of manufacturing plants recently, where you know workers are worried, you know, is there a future for my job? Okay. So this is also uh, what we call facilities management, but it has evolved to what we call the built environment industry, right? So this built environment, this building is in Singapore. Uh, how you can verify, right? Uh, you can see the taxi, uh, city cap, uh, very symbolic. So I think you know this is in the North Bridge area, right? So using drones to do facade inspection, right? You no longer need people to climb, put themselves at risk. You can just fly one drone, then can, you can see, oh, you know, there's certain external things that I need to repair to service and all that. Right? Even NPARC is deploying drones to do monitoring of the uh, you know, landscape, or so maybe even monitor wildlife. And especially now, people like to follow the author, right? Where the author go, Bishan. Uh, then maybe Miss Nadia can tell you where they always look at. <laughs> okay? So then let's also look at uh, modeling, building modeling. Last time, if you talk about AutoCAD, you talk about, you know, any 360 is just about drawing. Right, but nowadays they have integrated. You can even know how much this light bulb costs. Then at the rate of how much this light bulb uh, is gonna, you know, lifespan, and I can already order it. So this is the evol evolution, right, for multiple process to come together where I can even plan if I want to build a building, let's say a HDB, how much is gonna cost me. At the start, I already know. Okay. Then you look at manufacturing. People will naturally think that oh, robot can take over everything, but it's not true, eh? Uh, we still need uh, people in the process because why? We are creative. 
we don't just think in terms of binary one and zero, yes or no, right? We are able to explore, and this is why even if you look at the background of this slide, you can recognize this is supply chain, right? So supply chain are using robots not to do everything for you, but to assist the manpower to expedite so that our shopee comes within three days, lah. Yeah, right. They, they are very happy. Eh? Everybody got present. Then if you look at uh, the other processes. Okay, this is what we call the user experience interface later I will share on. What are some of the skills that we can take on? Is to bring the risk away, the hazard away from the users. Right? So if you are one of those future ready career, you know, you're looking for it, you can actually look into how like hot work process, you know, welding, whenever you see welding, you know, you get blinded or you know you smell the fumes, but now they can even do training using augmented reality, AR, like Pokemon Go like that. Okay? So this is where technology do comes in. If you are really looking to explore on the technical side, okay, one of it is the user experience design. Yeah, uh, of course you can be a game developer, you know, create games, or you can even create training product or program software to actually complement learning. And this is how things have evolved nowadays. Everything by Zoom, right? There's a lot of learning management system that can be digitized instead of the usual PowerPoint, right? So project management and even blockchain in fintech. So these are the more technical skills where you will need to explore the causes uh, need to this program. All right, so adaptive skills. We talk about human process still relevant, right? Yeah, so stay creative. You know, don't be afraid to explore the things that you want to try in terms of your idea implementation. However, getting the idea across to people, you need to know how to communicate the idea. Like I can be thinking of a fish and I tell them the descriptive words, like how to draw that fish. Probably different kind of fishes will come out. Right, so all this, yeah, you know, communication of your idea, you must be able to also uh, do a bit of critical analysis, uh, critical thinking, thinking about the user, thinking about the process. So all these things don't come pre-programmed. That's where human interaction is very important. Right, we can foresee all this uh, and we can adapt. Uh. Okay, robots need to be programmed. Okay, so the last one will be on the technological skill. This one is uh, a bit more soft skill based where it doesn't take much for you to really uh, apply, where, you know, you can learn about cloud computing, Google Drive. Right now, this everybody all just say Google Drive, uh, Google Drive and just download the document and all project work you all can do together seamlessly. Correct? Yeah, so if you can think about all these things, AI, how, you know, you scroll, 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 social media, study this advertisement, come up, buy vacuum, buy vacuum. Last week, just talk about buy new vacuum. Okay, nice. Because recently I spawned my vacuum, so I have to buy new one. <laughs> yeah, my vacuum stuck. <laughs> yeah, <it's only> <laughs> yeah, so that's also database management. Right? They, they mine all this data, they accumulate somewhere, and then they, they sell advertisers, hey, this person looking for a certain thing. Right? Uh, and of course, all this back end work is coding. Lah. Right? So, FinTech, I think later I will get uh, Sis Michelle to share more about her data analytics. So, these are some of the things that you all can explore. Now, this is even a game that incorporates brain blockchain uh, into the programming. The, the one with the little monster, extra, is it? I forget what's the name of the game. Yeah, so these are some of the things that is up and coming that you can explore. Yeah. And next, so in summary, what do you need to be or what do you need to look forward to be what we call the industry 4.0 ready workers, right? So just know that after four, got five, right? Yeah, so you have to also be ready in preparing yourself so how? Lifelong learning. Uh, yeah, we are in the building. <laughs> so lifelong learning, you must always uh, have that curiosity, that hunger. Right? Don't be satisfied, oh, I know this thing. Because you also have to understand, uh, humans are always integral to the process. Right? If you remove yourself from the element, right, it doesn't evolve. Right? So this is where you need to be able to possess that hunger. Uh.